what is going on guys welcome to your 38th HTML5 tutorial and in this lesson I'm gonna teach you guys how to draw custom shapes so now that we learn to draw basically custom colors oh, who is text me right at the beginning of my dang tutorial Joby oh, okay Joby anyways I'm trying to do a tutorial now so I forgot where I was at let's just go ahead and get started with the tutorial so what we need to do in order to draw a shape is we need to make a path now a path is basically an outline of the shape so in order to start making a path we first need to call the function begin can you guys guess it path and this just lets our canvas know that hey we're gonna start making a shape right now so pretend that you have a pen in your hand the very first thing you want to do is move to a certain point so canvas move to and we're gonna put two parameters in here an X in the Y value what this is gonna represent is your starting point where do you want to first start writing and I'm just gonna start writing the shape at the coordinate 50 50 so over 50 and down 50 so right around there so what I want to do after this is okay from here where do I want to move to now canvas and instead of move to since we already did that what you do is write line 2 so move to is basically your starting point line 2 basically says draw a line from this point to this point however we didn't give it a point yet so let's just say 70 to 50 now here's what we're basically saying start at the point 50 50 and draw a line 2 70 to 50 so this is gonna kind of give you a diagonal shape over 70 down to 50 something like this so now what we want to do is we want to draw another line because again a shape can't just be one line from point A to point B that's not a shape at all that's just a line so as a third coordinate let's just put like 300 and I don't know 200 so now we start at 50 50 we move over and to the right a little bit and then we're moving right around here over 300 down 200 so we got a kind of weird obtuse looking triangle I don't know if it's obtuse or not I can't tell just from these coordinates but it's a weird looking triangle it's not like symmetrical or anything so now that we got three points a starting point a second point and an ending point what we want to do is we want to say okay now we're done with our shape so the next function we call it is canvas close path now we don't have any coordinates in here because what this says is say okay make a line from wherever we are and in this case 300 200 right now back to the starting point so it draws a line from here back to here and of course whenever you draw a line from your ending point to the starting point you don't need to say you know you don't need to explicitly say 50 50 because it just assumes that so whatever shape we have so far it's gonna go ahead and close that path now what we have now is an outline of a shape we don't have a shape yet in order to make a shape remember let's utilize what we learned in like two tutorials go canvas stroke now what this is going to do is it's going to take that shape or excuse me that path and convert it into a shape so now this will actually draw something that we can view this is pretty much just all the information from it right now in this we're saying okay now that you got the info actually draw on the screen so let's go ahead and save this is as long as I didn't forget anything we're gonna go ahead and check out our shape a nice beautiful looking triangle so again 50 50 we went over 50 down 50 that's where we started and from there we went from 70 to 250 so 70 250 is right here and then we went from 300 to 200 so over 300 down 200 right here and then the last thing we did is say close that path which it closed it from our ending point to our starting point and draw a stroke now you're saying okay I saw that tutorial you're not fooling me what the heck was this thing right here then well this is actually a challenge that I had for you guys the first person to message me through YouTube and send me the code of how to draw this fabulous eight pointed star I'm gonna send you guys a free t-shirt don't worry about the cost of the t-shirt don't worry about shipping it's gonna be uh, the new Boston t-shirt that I had printed up it's black and it says the new Boston right across the front so you know I just didn't want to say that at the beginning so for those of you who are dedicated to watching my tutorials watch this all the way through 
first person to send me the code on how to draw an eight-pointed star, send me the code through YouTube messaging, and also send me your name, your address, and your t-shirt size. And the first person to do that wins a brand new t-shirt. You'll get it in the mail shortly. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and uh, good luck with the t-shirt.